All right, and we are live. So, what's this? You're probably wondering. This is Sid Meier's Pirates Gold, the second out of the three Sid Meier's Pirates games that have been released. Now, uh, you're probably wondering what happened to our uh, Kaiser Reich Let's Play. Well, kind of hit a bit of a snag with that. Uh, we will come back to it eventually. Don't worry, we will see the exciting conclusion of the second belt krieg but for now we are a notorious buccaneer on the spanish main well some of you are probably wondering what is sid meyer's pirates it's a quite relatively well-known game so probably sid meyer is most famous for his civilization series which uh civilization 6 just recently came out which i've been a big fan of civilization ever since i was eight years old dad got me civilization 2 for my birthday, but I have not played Civ 6 yet, although it, the reviews seem pretty good. However, the release of Civ 6 kind of uh, inadvertently, I'm not sure if this was connected at all, but uh, Sid Meier used to work at a company called Microprose, which made a bunch of games back in the late 80s and early 90s with different like simulation or... Mm, different types of themes in them, kind of strategy related. And this went on sale in Steam. So I ended up picking up this pack of games, which included Sid Meier's Pirates. Now I have played Sid Meier's Pirates before, uh, quite a few years ago. When I was a teenager, the latest one came out, which is like 2004, 2005 with quite updated graphics, relatively the same game. This is the VGA remake for DOS, which came out, I'm not really sure, I assume like 94, 95, judging by the appearance here. But the original Sid Meier's Pirates came out, I think in the late 80s or very early 90s, featured much more primitive, primitive graphics than this. I've never played it, but the full, all three games are quite similar. The idea is you are a pirate, Obviously, you are in the Spanish Main, or uh, also known as the Caribbean. We are going to start a new career as a pirate, and this will be a gentleman pirate playthrough. So what does that mean? Well, first, of course, we will be the most gentlemanly of the four European nations selectable, which is the French, obviously. We will also be using as our special skill wits and charm, which is coincidentally happens to coincide with my own personal wit and charm although I warn you I am also quite deadly with the cutlass finally we will always 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 remember to have proper gentlemanly conduct even on the high seas so right now we need to select a time period we have different ones silver empire merchants and smugglers the new colonists war for profit the buccaneer heroes these are all different uh, difficulty levels. We will be taking the Pirate's Sunset. It is quite a challenging era, but I think it will provide the most interesting playthrough. We will be French. And, of course, we have Wits and Charm. We will be starting out on the Journeyman difficulty level, but we will be raising the difficulty level as time goes on. And... The name of our captain is Flint. Are ye satisfied with your choices, Captain? Are. Anyway, so the story of this game is, uh, well, I don't know if it's really, if you could really call it a story, but this game tends to, uh, the goal of this game is uh, threefold. First, get rich. Second, find your lost family members. And third, marry a wife. And we hope to accomplish all three of these things over the course of this game. As a young man, you fled your family's debt slavery on a sugar plantation. You live among the buccaneers of the coast, learning to shoot, to handle a sword, to handle a ship. Most importantly, you learn bravery and leadership. You decide to seek a life of adventure. In a seaside tavern, you meet a famous captain. I need strong men for my crew, he says. May happy you find a berth with me. May hap Mayhaps you'll find a berth with me. Okay. Mayhaps, I think that that is... Mm, nah, people don't really say that anymore. On your first voyage, a small convoy of enemy ships falls to your squadron. One enemy cut... 
One enemy cuts, grapples, and starts away. Take that ship, your captain yells, and she's yours. Your party jumps aboard just in time. On guard! So here you can see here we are now <laughs> dueling with the enemy captain. Ah, yes, also, I will mention that, as a gentleman, we will only fight with the rapier. The gentleman's weapon, obviously. You sail to a friendly port nearby. A family friend introduces you to the governor. He provides a letter of marquee, authorizing attacks on enemy ships. Now you are ready to seek your fame and fortune on the Spanish main. The sailing master takes you aside here in Tortuga. You'll probably be wanting to see the French governor and visit a tavern. We just met the French governor. The men will be anxious for plunder and adventure. Uh, okay, so, a uh, couple notes. So, the era that we chose is considered a more difficult era, generally. Uh, generally, the, the cities are more well defended. This is called the, I believe, Buccaneers Twilight. So, what, so the basic gist is that uh, cities are more well defended, and there's more kind of an equal distribution of colonies. The previous eras tend to be Spanish dominated, like the majority of the cities are Spanish, whereas here there's more French and English and even Dutch presence. Uh, generally, this era is considered more challenging, but I think it will be a bit more interesting. First, we're gonna visit the governor. We're at war with Spain and England. So basically the idea here is that for, if we kill, if we destroy or capture Spanish or English ships or sack Spanish or English colonies we will be rewarded by the French governors with land and titles ensign captain major etc we want these land and titles because they provide us for a better future when we eventually retire we will now visit the merchant we do not have a lot of gold uh now I will be taking a note of the prices of the goods in this city. Food, goods, and sugar. 75, 60, and 60. We may do some trading at some point here. Just we'll hold on to our goods for now. Here in Tortuga. We are now going to visit the tavern. Barmaid. The barmaid asks you, will you be wanting a drink now? Yes. Let's have another drink. A drink and some company. You spend a pleasant evening with the barmaid. Indeed. Huh. This is life imitating art, let me tell you. Look, it's that promising sea dog, Mr. Flint. A rowdy group of 18 men asked to join your crew. Sign them up. Yes, we, we want pretty much as many crew members as possible. Traveler from Porta Principe offers to sell you information for 140 gold pieces. Okay. Porta Principe, Spanish, prospering. Two forts, 220 soldiers, 10,000 gold. Hmm, probably that's a little out of our range for now. And the bartender tells you that new governor in Rio de la Hacha. Malaria strikes Santa Marta. New gold mine at Veracruz. Uh, so the different news here that you get all comes, uh, basically it all has different effects on the colonies. I won't really bother telling you about this now, but it's very important to check this periodically because it can give you some very good information. And let's see, what, I'm not sure what kind of ship we have, but we are on the prowl for English and Spanish ships. Let's take a look at our map. We are at Tortuga and it was Port de, Port de Pay. I'm quite certain that that is probably a Spanish ship. What kind of ship do we have right now, actually? That's a good question. Party status. 66 men. Ship status. We are currently pirating a sloop, which according to the manual I consulted is a relatively small, very maneuverable ship. I think it's quite suitable to start out as a privateer. 
sail into this French harbor, visit the tavern. Let's pick up 18 more men. I don't think we're willing to pay 100 gold pieces for this. Do we want to drink from this barmaid? Yes. Yes. And yes. Let's have another drink. Yes. Wow, four drinks. It's a lot of drinks. Let's head off. Let's talk to the merchant. Oh, and sugar, here is 120 gold pieces. Let's just write this down in my little pad here. 90, 45, and then 120. We definitely want to be selling any sugar we pick up at the, off at this port. An attractive young woman enters the shop. The merchant introduces you to his daughter. Make conversation. We'll have to talk. Port de pay. Port de pay. So, in Tortuga, barmaid, and I will put a plus there because we got we spent some valuable company time with her. Port de pay, merchants, daughter. But we will not necessarily do anything with that now. So, let's set sail again. And so our party status is we have 84 men, which is a good crew, eight cannons, not bad for our sloop, which is a pretty decent ship. Let's take a look at our ship, not ship's log. We don't need that. Whoops. Exit. Exit again. Let's take a look at our map. Where are the closest Spanish or English settlements? We can sail west to Santiago. I'm pretty sure that's a Spanish settlement. East to San Juan or south to Leogain and Petit Gove. Those are all French. Hmm. We may go and pick up some extra sailors down there. All right. And the wind, with the wind at our backs, we're making good time. I tell you, it's the spray of the salty air in, in your face that really just sets the mood here. Sail ho! Ah, okay. So uh, in this game, we will randomly encounter ships on the high seas uh, and obviously what we encounter is dependent upon the situation if you're near a French port you're probably more likely to see French ships etc and there's lots of other special exceptions that happen but for now uh, probably we'll just investigate looks like a bark okay oh it's a pirate okay this is the game's way of giving us our copy protection now any of you who are old like me will remember back when games had copy protection. There was no DRM, there was no internet really. So the copy protection was in the form of the manual. You would have to look up something in the manual. Uh, yeah, so we need to identify this flag as who it belongs to. Let me just take out my manual in PDF form. Oh, and I just knocked my microphone over. Okay. I don't know if you folks can see this here, but I ha currently have the Pirate's Manual open. And let's see. Uh, all right, so the flag is a skull with red hair and a sword under it. Oh, and that is the flag of Captain Montalban. He is chasing us. We are going to close for battle. about our ship is that it's fast, it's maneuverable. Well, but we can't carry quite as many crew members. And the ships crash together. We are going to have to fight. Of course, we are a gentleman. We will be employing the right oh, God. And let's get in there. Ah, and we have captured him. 
Let's just go back to full screen here. Video full screen. Okay. We have captured a 60 ton bark with 10 guns. We have space for one. Yes, send a prize crew. Alright, we've captured a bunch of food and a bunch of cannons with 810 gold pieces plundered. Five sailors wish to join our crew. Let's take them. Land ho! Well, there is a French port here, Petit Goa. We will go in there. And let's talk to the merchant. Let's just make a note of our prices here. 75, 60, 60. Uh, so far, it looks like if we have any sugar, we're going to want to sell those at port to pay. We don't really need to sell anything else. Let's go to the tavern. Pick up 18 men. Yes, barmaid. Let's order a few drinks. Information from Veracruz. No, thank you. Mm. No interesting news here. Let's talk to the governor. At war with Spain and England. Make conversation with the daughter. And let's take a look at... Let's repair our ship. This bark. The sloop or the bark. Which do we want to make our main ship? Well, I'm going to check our manual now. And let's see the difference between the, the bark and the sloop. Okay. Bark, 9 to 12 leagues is our best speed. The sloop, 9 to 10 leagues. Okay, so the bark is faster. Up to 16 guns for the bark. Up to 12 guns for the sloop. Hmm. One twenty-eight versus ninety-six. Sixty tons of cargo space, forty tons for the sloop. Seems that the sloop is slightly faster, but the bark can hold more cannon. I think we may end up using the Captain Montablon's bark that we captured from him. All right. Well, we have sailed into port, and let's oh, sail ho! Investigate. A merchantman, flying French colors, well, we don't Land ho! we're not attacking any French ships, so let's just pick up some sailors here, 19 men, very good, a drink and some company, ah, well, one, one thing I'll mention here is that all these bars have names, so this, this tavern is called The Last Hope, I quite like that, let's let, just make a quick note here, Leo Gan. Barmaid plus. Very good. Let's take a look at the merchant. Mm. 75, 60, 60. Pretty standard prices here. And let's talk to the governor. Nothing new there. Well, off we go. And I guess we will sail west and intercept Spanish shipping. So this era is quite a bit more challenging than the others. All the powers have much stronger pirate hunter forces. It's not quite, there are not quite so many easy targets as in other eras. It is after all called the Buccaneers Twilight. Well, we have here a city, a port called Santiago. Sail ho! Oh, we've encountered a ship in Spanish waters, and it's a sloop. And let's close for battle with our bark. Let's hoist the sails. Let's see if we can't hit it. Oh, we're, we're getting some good hits on this. And we destroyed it. Oh, there was apparently an inland port. What is that? Havana? Porto Principe. 220 soldiers. Well, how many soldiers do we have? We have 102 men, uh, I would say. Yeah, we're, it's going to be very difficult to sack any cities, at least early on in this, because we just don't have quite enough men. Let's just sail around here and see what kind of ships we can intercept. Not a whole 
lot, apparently. Calm seas, that's for sure. How much food do we have left? We should probably check that. Crew is unhappy. Food for 93 days, okay. Well, we're doing all right. And uh, if we head south, there is, oh, Port Royal. 140 soldiers. Hmm. Well, we may head south. We may encounter Spanish or English ships down there. Might be a good idea. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the great thing about having these smaller ships, the sloop and the bark, actually. Like they can sail so fast, even against the wind. Sail ho! Oh, and we've encountered a ship. It's a frigate! Flying Spanish colors. We are closing for battle and we are going to get in our bark. And this is an advantage that our ship has is that the frigate is not going to be able to land any good hits on us. And they've surrendered. 120 ton frigate. With 57 tons. Yes, send a prize crew. We've plundered 4,000 gold. And we'll take those 25 sailors. Very nice. We haven't actually committed any offenses against the English yet. So I think we can go into this English port and perhaps get our ship repaired. Sailing to the harbor. Let's visit the tavern. It's that promising sea dog, Mr. Flint. 30 crew members. Yes, sign them up. A drink and some company. Let's just add Port Royale into our notes here. Port Royale. Barmaid. Plus, we've slept with three barmaids so far in this playthrough. Travel from Antigua sells you information. 60 soldiers, 2,000 gold. Antigua. We will have to check that on our map. It may be worthwhile to sack. In a dark corner of the tavern, Scruffy Pirate offers to sell you part of an old treasure map for 500 gold. I think we will go for that. Somewhere near Belize. Well, this map doesn't seem to offer us a lot of detail. Let's talk to the bartender. Holland at war with France. Oh, so, wow. Quite an interesting. Governor off to an English letter of marquee for 600 pieces. I don't think we can accept. Hmm. Wow. Port Royale is. Food is 105. Goods 60. Sugar 60. I think we're going to sell off a lot of food here. And let's just sell off their sugar as well, because if we go and sack the port of Antigua, we're going to want to have a lot of space. Let's repair our frigate, and let's sell our sloop. Let's sell our sloop for a thousand. Our company, and we are sailing off. Now, where is Antigua is really our question. All the way east. It's quite far. All right. Hmm. Well, let's uh, sail around Port Royal for a bit and see if we can't pick up any merchant ships. The French are currently at war with everybody, which means that we have quite a, we've got a good opportunity for gaining favor with the French governors. We're in English waters. Let's investigate a cargo flute. Perfect. Flying English colors. This is exactly what we want. Let's get in our... Do we want the frigate? Let's go for the bark. They've struck their colors. Plunder and sink. Not very much, honestly. But... Hmm. That was one ship. Cargo flutes are quite small, tend to have small crews. 
English waters. A sloop, flying English colors. Let's close for battle and we will get in our bark. Destructive colors. Let's plunder and sink. Seven sailors want to join. Yeah, let's go. And let's see, party status. Crew is pleased, 168 men. And do we happen to know how strong is Port Royal? 140 soldiers, I think we could sack it, honestly. Yep, that, that would be a good idea, actually. We're gonna sack Port Royal. Well, actually, first, let's see if we can't pick up a cargo ship because if we sack Port Royal, we're going to wanna have enough cargo space to haul away everything. a bit for now. How much cargo space do we have? Uh, doesn't really, ship status, doesn't really seem to tell us. Sail ho! Okay, a sloop. A well-known pirate, Mar Marquis Modiford. He, let's close Arr! the battle and let's go with the bark. Indeed. So, he is quite in quite bad shape. Let's see if we can't finish him off, maybe capture him, hold him for ransom at some later time. And, oh, well, we kind of unintentionally destroyed him. That wasn't the best outcome. Capturing these pirates lets you hold their captain for ransom, or you can grill him for information about the location of the treasure fleet. Anyway, let's embark here, uh, disembark, and we are going to sack Port Royale. Back on Port Royale has failed. Hmm? Let's look at our party status. 141 men. And let's take a look at not our treasure map. Quit, no. 140 soldiers. Let's attack the town, yes. kind of disturbing. The game is not really telling us. I think we've outmaneuvered the English defenders here. I'm not really sure what's happening with our muskets or our men because the, the display is just blank, but we are headed for the fort and we will be storming it. Of course, we choose the rapier. We're getting in some hits. This will be a hard fought battle, I think. See, as our morale goes up, the chances of their surrendering. Ah, yes, yeah, see. We are going to take, we're going to take all that sugar, and we 
we just plundered 13,000 gold pieces. We're gonna dump some food, actually, because we want to take as much sugar as possible, and we're gonna run back and we're gonna sell that. No, we do not want it to disembark. And now we are... Ah, I accidentally hit my treasure map. All right, let's, let's take a look at our notes. Who is buying sugar at a high price? It's Port de Pay, which is... Hmm. Ah, northeast. So we will sail east in the north. Party status is... Twenty-four thousand gold pieces. One hundred and sixteen men. Crew is pleased. Well, we're sailing northeast. We will replenish our crew. How much food do we have is a good question. 59 days of food, that's plenty. And let's take a look at our map one more time. Ah, okay, we're gonna have to sail northwest here. and we're in French waters. A merchant man. Sailing with French colors. We will leave it alone. Land ho! Let's talk to the governor. Been promoted to the title of Ensign and we have 250 acres of land. The evil Dutchman Baron Kuhn knows the whereabouts of your sister. See in the city of Panama. Baron in Panama. Okay, let's make conversation with the daughter. We're not going to sell off our cargo here. This is the tavern. 32 men want to join. Yes, the barmaid. Let's get a drink. Let's get another drink. Let's get a third drink. Spend a pleasant evening with the barmaid. Yikes. Traveler gives us information. Three fourths, 150 soldiers. Three fourths, that's quite a bit. Latest news new gold mine in St. Martin. Pirates plunder Port Royal. Hey, that was us! Let's talk to the shipwright. Can we repair a ship? None of our ships need repairing. That's good. Sail ho! Investigate cargo flute. And it's a Dutch cargo flute. Yes. We will get in our bark. And we will. They've struck their colors. Let's send a private press. We'll just uh, take all that. We'll sail up north here. Sail ho! Let's investigate a frigate. Promising Farron Hallcroft. He's chasing Arr! his foes for battle, and we will get in the bark. We might capture a second frigate at this rate. Thing about having if you get a smaller ship you can actually outmaneuver the enemy quite handily especially on these relatively lower difficulties lost a mass I think we'll just uh they've lost enough crew oh, We've got a real advantage here let's capture Baron Hallcroft Hmm. 
Oh, I surrender. Ah, a handy victory. And a prize crew. 610 gold pieces plundered. 54 sailors want to join our crew? Yes, let's bring them on. We were headed towards Port de Pay. Ah, which is right near here. Excellent. We'll go here to Tortuga. Let's make conversation. The daughter. Tortuga is not really buying things at a great price. We'll hold off. Pick up 45 men. Our crew is now swollen. It's been two pleasant evenings with the barmaid. Travel from Santiago. Two forts. 43,000 gold. 280 city soldiers. What news? Pirates plunder Cartanega. Well, not much going on there. Let's repair our ship. Let's repair the cargo fluke. And let's repair our frigate. Let's sell our cargo fluke for now. And let's part company. Off we go. And here we are in Port de Pay. Let's speak to the merchant. And we are going to sell off all that sugar we plundered. Coffers are swollen. Can we pick up any sailors? 30. Farming. Let's buy a drink. Buy another drink. Buy a third drink. Okay, well. Talk to the governor. Family of Baron Hokos will pay a ransom of 5,000 gold pieces. We will take the gold. Let's make conversation with the daughter. Don't need to go back to the tavern, silly me. Take a look at our ships. Let's sell off one of our frigates. And part company, off we go. Let's take a look at our party status. How... First of all, how many men do we have? 235 men, that's quite a lot. The crew is pleased. Food for 77 days. How much How much money do we have? 51,000 gold, excellent. So what options do we have here? 220 men in Port of Principe. Santiago, 280. Hmm. San Juan, that's quite a lot. English, English, hmm, Havana. Perhaps we shall sail east. Okay, let's sail east. Well, how many soldiers are in Porta Principe? That's actually quite good. We will head to Sail Ho! Oh, let's take a look. A sloop. Promising pirate captain. Let's go to battle. And we will get in our bark. Oh, they landed a lucky shot on us. Wow, we can't seem to make a hit. We've got a big cannon advantage, though. Ugh! See, those smaller ships can be quite difficult to hit. Ah! We got him. We're chasing him down now. We've got quite a few more men. Well, it's just a matter of time. Now they've got some sail damage. 43. We have space room for eight, 93 tons in the hold. Ah, okay, so we can either decide to hold him for ransom or we can decide to ask him about the whereabouts of the treasure fleet. Hmm, good question. Okay, let's ask him where the treasure fleet is. It's in Havana. Interesting. Take the three sailors. Where is Havana? Oh, it is west of us. All right, 
We are going to sail to Havana. If the treasure fleet is there, we will have an excellent chance of taking it. And if you can capture a city with the treasure fleet in it, there is literally hundreds of thousands of gold for the taking. Huh, we almost ran aground in those uh, rocky shoals. Sail ho! Merchantmen running the Spanish colors, and we will use the bark to intercept the merchantmen. Merchantman just you can't really take that much punishment, and the crew is quite quite a small crew complement. Structure colors, plunder and sink. Six hundred twenty gold pieces. We'll take the two sailors. Why not? And how does the crew feel? Is pleased. Excellent. Well, with any luck, with the treasure fleet. In Havana, we will be able to intercept them on the high seas. I don't think it will be possible to actually sack Havana. That would be fantastic, but Hail I just ho! don't think we have the men. Sloop. Marquise. Okay, well, we will get in our bark. Well, I guess he decided he doesn't want like those odds. Let's see, how many men do we have right now? 180. That is not really enough men to sack Havana. In fact, I don't think it's even enough to sack that other city inland, Porto Principe. Yeah, it would be outnumbered. It's not a good idea to let your men be outnumbered. Uh, attempting to sack the city. Let's see. The treasure fleet should be in here. Land ho! Four forts guard the harbor. We're not gonna be. Let's sail around Havana Hail for a bit. Ho! And let's see if we can't. It's a frigate! Flying French colors. We are French. We are not attacking. Sail ho! A bark. The cowardly pilot, Colonel. Arr. Okay, we will also get in a bark and. Construct their colors, plunder and sink. Let's hold them for ransom. Let's take 30 sailors. And that puts our crew at. 210, which gives us parity with Porta Principe. Unfortunately, we were not able to intercept the treasure fleet. It looks like they've moved on. Perhaps the pirate captain who gave us the information maybe was a little late. Sail ho! Another ship, a merchantman. Flying Spanish colors. Let's take out that merchantman in our bark. Yeah, the merchantmen tend to have larger crews. They're more formidable in combat. You actually, there are pirates who pi who have merchantmen as their flagships. They're not bad ships, and they have a very large cargo capacity, which makes them quite good for plunder. Hmm. Six guns. Send a fry crew. Yes. Take the thirty-six sailors. See, now we're moving a little slowly. We need to head back to Tortuga for repairs. Because if we're going to sack that city, we're going to want to have a lot of cargo space. 246 men. Crew is unhappy. Hmm. Okay. Well, we already have a lot of cargo space. So I think that what we're going to do is we're going to just sack the city and then divide the plunder.
However, our merchantman is leaking. We probably want to avoid any more confrontations. Well, might not. Oh, wow, that was dangerous. I totally didn't know where we were getting into there. We almost ran aground on some rocks. This game can actually be quite unforgiving. If you hit those little shallow areas, what can happen is... Sail ho! A sloop. Flying French colors. Let's sail away. You hit those shallow areas, and it can actually sink your ship. And if you only have one ship in your fleet, that's just game over for you. Well, not technically game over, but you lose everything. Sail ho! A frigate. Pirate hunter Colonel Hulkrow. Let's get in our bark, and let's run circles around that frigate. You're taking a lot of damage here. Our crew is not happy, so it's taking a long time. Yeah. I think that this is not turning out to be our best advantage. Let's see if we can't escape. sank our ship. That's not good. Crew is unhappy. 153 men, 45,000 gold pieces. Only 153. I don't think we're going to be able to sack that ship, that city, unfortunately. But we still have our, let's see, ship status, a merchantman and a frigate. Well, I think we'll keep the frigate. And let's hope that we can make it to port. I was hoping to sell that bark, but... Now we're sailing against the wind, and we have a very damaged ship in our fleet, so we're moving very slowly. not risk it. Let's head back to, not Tortuga, but Port de Pay. Sail ho! Continue our voyage. Land ho! Sail to the harbor. Visit the shipmaster. Let's sell a ship. We'll sell the merchantman. We don't need that. Look at the tavern. Talk to the barmaid. Let's have a few drinks. Yes, yes, and yes. Talk to the traveler. Info on San Juan. 120 soldiers, 1,000 gold. Hmm. Let's see. Let's talk to the merchant. Sell off our sugar. Sell off our goods. Sell off our food too. We don't need it. Let's talk to the governor. Oh, and we've been promoted to captain. Uh, Emerald Grand knows about my sister. And the admiral, the evil. Frenchman Admiral is in Santiago. Well, I'm not sure about that. We will make conversation. Look at the ship right, selling a ship. We have only one ship left. We are going to divide the plunder. Unhappy with 326 gold. Captain Journey received 6,000 gold pieces. It's quite good. We are advancing now to the adventurer le level. Your ship is careened and refitted. Provisions are collected and stowed. News of your expedition spreads among the islands.
And I think now is a good time to save. We will be saving with Flint 2. And now we're about to start our second expedition. This is a good time to sign off. Until next time, me hearties.